My name is Sean Eskai and I'm the creative director of Uncharted The Lost Legacy. The Uncharted world is pretty huge. Why did you choose Nadine and Chloe for Uncharted The Lost Legacy? Uh, well, when we uh, kind of wrapped up the Uncharted story with Nathan Drake, uh, we knew we'd kind of brought closure to his story. Uh, and we wanted to you know, start exploring the different characters in the world. So we started just exploring the Sullivan story, the Sam story, uh, pairing up different characters together and seeing which character was the most compelling. Uh, and the Chloe Fraser story kept jumping out at us, it kept popping out at us. Uh, we were so intrigued by this character, she was pretty much unknown, yet everyone was a fan favorite uh, of her. You know, we wanted to you know, explore why Chloe chooses self-preservation uh, above everything else. Why does she bail out? Uh, and that was pretty much a jumping off point uh, for this uh, exploration. Like what made Chloe, Chloe Fraser, who is she really? Uh, and how did she become this thief in this world? Uh, and then we were like, okay, well, who do we pair Chloe with? You know, who would be the best person and the worst person to put her up against? Uh, and then we landed on Nadine Ross, uh, and we thought that that's the perfect brew of conflict uh, for great storytelling. Story aside, what's new in the Lost Legacy? Uh, well, the Lost Le Legacy features uh, the biggest open-world space of Uncharted that we've ever done. Uh, uh, what's new about this space, uh, like if you know Madagascar space, it's, it was also pretty large, uh, but it was fairly linear, like you had to go and progress through it linearly. Uh, in this uh, space, it's non-linear, uh, you can choose how you approach uh, or choose what order you go in uh, and still get a full narrative story. Also you can choose how you approach combat, Can you, you can go into stealth, you can uh, go head-on into combat, or you can avoid, in some cases, combat completely. Uh, so that was kind of the biggest uh, 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 challenge we had on The Lost Legacy in terms of new uh, tech. Uh, the other thing was spilling the narrative more into the gameplay. Uh, if characters are uh, at certain points in their arcs, your AI would behave differently. If you and Nadine are getting along and you're doing well, then all of a sudden your fighting styles are efficient, you're making great progress through uh, combat situations. Uh, she's a true buddy. Uh, but if you guys are at odds, it also reflects in her AI. She may abandon you. She may uh, you know, go on her own thing and start making her own progress. Uh, and you guys are less efficient. So that's another uh, uh, new thing. We have the lock picking mechanic, which we felt also supported the thief in Chloe. Uh, it also uh, gives you uh, different options and may form your gameplay depending on what uh, items you choose to steal out of this of, out of these crates. So those are, I would say, some of the the, the new improvements uh, we made on the Lost Legacy. You consider the Lost Legacy a new game, basically. Why the players should do the same? Why they should buy it? Uh, well, the Lost Legacy. Uh, is kind of the sum of all the Uncharted's, right? Uh, we really, you know, had you know the previous Uncharted's to kind of learn from and and take from and build upon, right? So we took what we thought were the best, you know, parts of the Uncharted uh, series and compiled them into this game to support our narrative. Uh, we went back to scale, you know, there's these huge archaeological sites. We brought you know uh, uh, the puzzles back. Uh, and uh, interesting, uh, say, integrated puzzles into the actual historical uh, sites and, and, and how it pertains to their growth as characters as well. Um, plus, it's everything you expect from Uncharted. Uh, big combat, <laughs> big traversal, narrative spilling into gameplay. So it's pretty much the sum of our giant set pieces. This is kind of what we do best. Uh, so, and then Chloe kind of affords us a new look or a new perspective in this world. Uh, she's a thief, she's a hustler, she's a little edgier than Nathan was. She isn't one to go in and brawl. She's more, she'd prefer to avoid uh, and, and, and sneak away. Uh, but she is very capable and could brawl as well. And with Nadine on her side, she's even more efficient. So, you know, it, it gives us a new taste of this world. And we thought it would be a great, uh, great insight into the Uncharted world. Roughly a month ago, you basically stated that The Lost Legacy is not the end of the Uncharted series. 
Aren't you worried that the fans could start getting tired of the franchise? Well, you know, we think we think that the Uncharted world is so vast, so deep. There's so many great characters, uh, Sullivan, uh, you know, uh, Sam, Cutter, uh, that, and they all have their own personalities. They all bring a whole new perspective on this world. That it'll keep it engaging and fresh as long as the story and narrative is strong and supports these characters. We think that there's more stories to tell. Uh, as as far as plans, we have none. We've been just focused on the Lost Legacy. Uh, but as far as plans for myself or uh, Naughty Dog, we have no future plans for Uncharted. Is there any reason a non-Uncharted player should play this chapter? Are they gonna miss something or they will enjoy it anyway? Uh, we think uh, you can experience the Lost Legacy as uh, separate from the franchise. Uh, you, there's. Uh, it is a full narrative arc. It does focus on Chloe and Nadine's uh, stories. Uh, so yes, you can play this and get a good sense of the game. It could be a gateway into the franchise. Uh, and for the fans who are Uncharted fans, there are some cameo lines in there for you know callbacks to uh, that kind of give you um, a sense of how these characters are connected and related. So it's kind of a, a game for everyone. You're a writer, a director, and also a talented 3D animator. Oh, thank you. How did your experience help you developing The Lost Legacy? Uh, well, you know, at Naughty Dog we pride ourselves in narrative development, so writing helped with the story, helped develop the story, fleshing it out, uh, and, and creating, you know, memorable characters with, you know, Chloe and Nadine and their relationship and showing how through that conflict there is growth through that struggle, there's progress. Uh, um, it's kind of the self-sacrifice versus self-preservation story. Um, and of course, you know, having a, a solid understanding of cinematography and 3D animation, uh, you know, helps, you know, helps along, push along that experience and keeping the, the, the players engaged and completely submersed in this world. Uh, so I think it's, it's, it's a combination of everything, uh, but all experiences kind of eventually get into the art form, uh, and that's, that's, that's always uh, what we try to do. Last question, what's the thing that will make me say wow while playing The Lost Legacy? Uh, I think, I think, oh, just one? I think there are many wows in this game. Uh, I think you're going to be surprised by how much wow there is in this game. Uh, like I said, it's the best of Uncharted. Right, it's the, the things that we thought were, you know, some of our favorite parts of the Uncharted world, and we've built upon it, and we've improved upon it, and we've also f made it more Chloe-centric. Uh, so it's going to be a new experience. It's going to be, uh, you know, big set pieces, giant archaeological sites, intense combat, sense of discoveries back, open world. It's everything that we love about the franchise. Thank you very much, Sean, and just say ciao. Ciao.